Hello, welcome to Today in History for the 4th of September. In our usual tradition, let's go back the blind to the year 925, several, several, several hundred years ago. On this day, King Athelstan of the West Saxons became the first king to rule all of England. So, Athelstan was king of the Anglo-Saxons from 924 to 927 and king of the English from 927 to 939 when he died. He was the son of King Edward the Elder and his first wife, Egwin. Sounds like a Welsh name. Modern historians regard him as the first king of England and one of the greatest Anglo-Saxon kings. So that's King Athelstan pictured right here. King of England. He became king of England on this day in the year 925. Let's move on to the year 1781. We're in Los Angeles and as you can see from this poster here, that's an indication of what happened on this day. Los Angeles was founded by Spanish settlers, led by a man called Governor Felipe de Neve. It was nicknamed City of Angels, Angel Town, and Tinsel Town. I suppose that's, these names are still the, the nicknames that Los Angeles has today. It's now the second most populous city in the United States and the home, of course, to Hollywood, whose name is synonymous with the American motion picture industry. So that's Los Angeles for you, founded on this day in 1781, well over two centuries ago. So essentially four years after American independence. Okay, so let's move on to the year 1848. His name is Louis Latimer. So who was Louis Latimer? I guess you can see, um, you, you get a hint from the picture here, the light bulb behind him, who he was. He was an inventor born on this day in 1848, full name Louis Howard Latimer was also a draftsman best known for his contributions to the patenting of the light bulb and the telephone. Inventor and engineer Louis Howard Latimer was born to parents who had fled slavery. Latimer learned the art of mechanical drawing while working at a patent firm. So that's Louis Latimer, who was born on this day in 1848. He died in the year 1928 at the age of 80. 1908, on this day, Richard Wright was born. Tell you a bit about Richard Wright. Pictured here. He is a novelist and short story writer. He was among the first African-American writers to protest white treatment of blacks. Richard Nathaniel Wright was an author also of short stories, poems, and non-fiction. Much of his literature concerns racial themes. Okay, makes sense because he um, like I said earlier, one of the first African-American writers to protest uh, treatment of blacks by whites. 
So most of this literature concerns racial themes, especially related to the plight of African Americans during the late 19th to mid 20th centuries, who suffered discrimination and violence in the South and the North. Literary critics believe his work helped change race relations in the United States in the mid 20th century. So that was good of him. It's good of him. It's good to speak when you um, notice discrimination, you know, unfairness, black to white, white to black, doesn't matter, man to woman, woman to man, um, sexual orientation, gay to straight, straight to gay, you know, there's no reason for human beings to treat others with disrespect and disdain. No excuse for that. No excuse for that. If you're not happy with someone's lifestyle um, or the way someone looks, um, there's no reason to make them feel less than they actually are. You know, you just live your own life and let them live their own life. You know, live and let live. You know, um, yeah, discrimination of in any form should not be condoned. Okay, guys, let's move on to the year 1917. I beg your pardon, 1917. This man was born. And if that rings a bell, he's actually the grandson of the original Henry Ford. So his name is also Henry Ford. He's Henry Ford II. Also an American industrialist, just like his dad. He was born on this day, 1917, died at the age of 70 on the 29th of September, 1987. He's sometimes known as HF2 or Hank the Deuce. He was the eldest son of Edsel Ford, who was Henry Ford's son and the eldest grandson of Henry Ford, which I mentioned earlier. So that's Henry Ford II. Born on this day, 1917, died September 29th, 1987, at the age of 70. We now move on to the year 1981. Her name is Beyonce. She was born on this day. So happy birthday, Beyonce. She's 39 today. As you all know, she is an American singer. Born Beyonce Giselle Knowles in Houston, Texas, United States of America, to Celestine Tina Knowles, named Beyonce. So basically, she was named after her mom's maiden name. Um, her mom was a hairdresser and salon owner, and her dad is called Matthew Knowles, a Xerox sales manager. Beyonce's name just like I alluded to earlier, I mentioned earlier, is a tribute to her mother's maiden name. Beyonce's younger sister, Solange Knowles, is also a singer and a former backup dancer for Destiny's Child, which is Beyonce's group. Solange and Beyonce are the first sisters to have both had number one albums. Matthew is an African-American, Matthew, who is Beyonce's dad, and Tina is of Louisiana Creole descent, so French, Native American and African American as well. So, happy birthday to the beautiful Beyonce, born on this day in 1981. Let's move on to the year 1998. On this day, this search engine was registered. So, by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. The American search engine company Google Incorporated was formally established by these two brilliant human beings. You know, they came up with an idea and today they are billionaires. Billionaires. So, happy birthday, Google. Search engine registered as a company on this day in 1998. So the mighty Google is 
22 years old today. 2002 on this day, this lady, Kelly Clarkson, she's an American singer, and she became the first winner of the reality television series, American Idol. So, on that note, we end today's Today in History. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It will help with the algorithm. Also, share this video to your family and friends and consider subscribing. You can do that by clicking on the notification bell so that you receive updates of my video uploads. Once again, my name is Sotonye Afiesima. Thanks for watching this and I shall see you tomorrow for another edition of Today in History. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.